Oh yeah. Hey, what's up everybody? It's yours truly, Trey Hardy, aka the Trigger Trey from the good old Kill Instinct Squad. Today we're playing some more of that the devil in me, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's do this. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. Okay, where we left off, we saved Aaron. I believe that's one of the first characters that could have died. Because the curator always cuts off when someone's about to die. If you ever played any of the uh, Dark Pictures games, always happens. So, I believe we just saved the character. Let's see if we can do it again. I think I read this already. I did. All right, heading down the stairs as usual. Yeah. Man, somebody trashed the place. Again, if you want to uh, read this, feel free to pause the video because I'm a pretty quick way. reader. Like a piece of a script. Probably read this already. Let me get the back of that. Let me get the back of that. Come on, let me get that ass. Turn around. Turn around for daddy. There we go. Yeah, I think I read this already. It's that script. Not yet. I want to do some looking around. That's a hotel sign-in logbook. I'm not reading that shit again. What's she talking about? What the hell? I know I've already been in here before. This looks pretty old. Jamie, over here. Okay, yeah, I'm freaking the fuck out. Oh it's shit! Just blood. Just blood. Let me say that shit real calm. Me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd. What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Follow the trail of blood. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by... Yeah, Brandon for real, what the, the fuck? Who met? What? So he hasn't left. I'm not liking this.
I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Something on the floor. I first met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior to Chicago, cut scene. but I don't remember me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training, and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. You got a nice little ass on her, oh yeah. Wait, was there something back there? Another one of those coins. Almost missed that. She's trying to creep me the hell out. I think I came from this way. I did. Okay, lady, you scare me. It's annoying ass fucking music. Anyway, turn that shit off. What the jigsaw is this? Oh, it's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate, and this guy is getting run through by that thing. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have done that. 
Well, he was dead anyway. I have a feeling. Oh, God. Shit, give me your hand. Come on. Damn it. Holy shit. <laughs> now the body's gone. What's happening? What did I do? I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. I feel like we in a movie saw. There's just traps and shit everywhere. Did, did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? Uh oh. We're trapped. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. You ain't One, getting through that. Two, three. You hear that? Yes. What is happening? Fuck. Oh. Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. Do it. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It, it helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. We'll say... It makes me feel better. It makes me feel better. Something you never seem to be able to do. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to- I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Well, say, so why didn't you go for it? Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things are already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. I'm so surprised. I didn't think about that. I, I guess I didn't even think of that. I, I just, uh, What do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. I'm gonna say apprehensive. You should have said all this before. I know. I'm not going through it all again. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely, and you know it. Sorry. I guess I'm a little confused. We better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Do you think they found Dumet? Charles seems hell-bent on talking to him, so maybe, yeah. Look for the hidden clues. I'm not gonna say surprises. I'm not looking forward to those. Going around locking these doors. Dumet is a little helper in the yellow coat.
locked. Wait. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is that her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? Mm, I kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when, they, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? Uh oh. I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here now. Charlie! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah. Uh. I can't hold this. this you have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Uh, Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I, I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. You think? Uh, it isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be a way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors. Crawl space has to be. <gasps> oh, shit. Uh, what's going on? I love how this guy's lighter's working the with the top closed. Though? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Let's think about this. You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? I kind of figure something wasn't right about that, dude. That's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really the Met. Can you, like, get the fuck out my way? Thank you. I haven't found any clues yet. Trying to map this in my head. But I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show? That's what these sociopaths do. Oh, 
Oh, what the fuck? Is that oh, hell no. Oh, good. You hear creepy kid voice too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? There's another one of them coins. Charlie, come here. Let's get this open. I have a feeling we shouldn't be in there. <laughs> uh, how did we not see that coming? We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen. Trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room... How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. Or off the island. Maybe we just focus on... Natalie Morello. Oh, are you... Yeah. Ah, fuck! Holy shit! Yeah, she did. It's, it's a fucking body! You think? Meet the last party that visited this hotel. You don't know that. Maybe. Fuck. You're probably right. Yeah, let's, let's find a way the fuck out of here. Charlie, I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, oh, ah. shit. Charlie? Fuck. I know somebody was in there. They gotta hear this. Wait. Uh-oh. Guys? Hello? Hey! Charlie? Mark? Jamie? This ain't good. Oh, come on, come on. Stop being such a damn wimp. Oh. 
Was I supposed to use the inhaler? For what? This bitch from the dive asthma attack. Look, okay, there's something about snake oil. What the fuck? Yeah, for real, what the hell? This dude met guy's a fucking weirdo. If that's the killer, but... What Charlie said earlier confirms my suspicions. I don't... There's either something up with Dumit or that guy on that boat is not fucking Dumit. Well, fuck you, Jamie. Damn. Okay, here we go, some jigsaw shit. I wanna play a game. H.H. H. Holmes. <laughs> a whole carton this time. You trying to get on my good side or something? Yeah, I'll, uh, I think I'll save him. What, no questions? What's going on with you, Monday? Oh, you seem different. Ah! <laughs> I see that glimmer in your eye, you little devil. I can keep secrets, man. We all have them. That prosecutor is trying to get numbers out of me. Know that? Of course you know that. Numbers. They got Holmes for 27, but we know he was closer to 200, right? Can you imagine that? I wish I'd had the time to try and beat that. Sure, they know about those nice realtor ladies. They got families, after all. But the numbers the DA is asking me about? I think he knows there's some people out there, rejects, misfits, the kind of people that when you see them coming, you look the other way. Does anyone notice if they go missing? My father always told me, 
to leave my mark on the world. I never knew what he meant by that. Not until I watched that first girl bleed out. What the I fuck? I call it art. That's my signature on society. It's not murder. It's an aesthetic response to what this world has made me. Ask people to list serial killers, and they'll drop five, ten on you before they can think of any more. Ask them to name the detectives that caught those killers. No one is going to say a damn thing. No one knows. No one cares. No one makes movies about them. No one puts their faces on t-shirts. Whoever just says this guy's a weirdo. No one gives a shit. <laughs> I've left my mark on the world. Have you? A little note. Some of an abused child. You're not safe, Aaron. How are you? You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. I'm gonna say, what's going on? Jamie, what is going on? Where are you? I don't. Just listen. Listen. There's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now. Just trust me, okay? Uh, I'm probably gonna regret this. Well, if I run, I'm gonna get caught, I think. I mean, it's an obvious place to look, right? In the cabinet. Yeah, she's dead. That's like the obvious place to look for someone if you're looking for someone. Hmm, let me check this closet that's known to be empty. Hopefully somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Kate, check this out. What is going on? <laughs> are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? 
Somebody's in the restaurant. This is some weird ass shit. The two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. What the fuck is this? Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. We'll say they're only mannequins. Relax. So, it's a bunch of mannequins dressed like us. Weird? Yes. Cause to lose shit? No. Alrighty, this is Shrey Hardy here from the good old Killer Instinct Squad. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here because I like to keep these short. Uh, if you've been watching, please thumbs up comment subscribe very much appreciated uh we'll see you in the future on some more epic gaming adventures peace